What is up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your A2C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about something called the if statement. Now the if statement is a way where we can have our program make very basic decisions. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving our computer program a test and it's going to run that test. If the test is true then it's going to run a certain bit of code. If the test is false, then it's not going to run any bit of code. So depending on that test depends whether we run code or not. So it sounds confusing, but it's actually incredibly simple. So let me go ahead and I'll show you the syntax for if statement right now. The syntax to make an if statement is if, you just go ahead and type the word f, and then go ahead and add parentheses. Now inside our parentheses is where we're going to be making our test. Now after those parentheses go ahead and add curly braces. Now this is called the body of the if statement and now here is where we write the code to run if the test is true. So let's go ahead and make a simple bit of code. Let's go ahead and just write like C out um, Bucky is awesome. So if our test is true it's going to print out Bucky is awesome on the screen. If the test is false it's not going to print out anything. So let's go ahead and let me talk to you guys about the different types of tests. The first test I want to show you guys is the greater than test. And this simply tests if one value is greater than another value. So if 5 is greater than 3, go ahead and run this code. So 5 is indeed greater than 3. So this is true. So whenever we build and run this, it's going to say Bucky is awesome. Pretty cool, huh? So now let's go ahead and make something like um, is 1 greater than 3? So it's going to test this. Is 1 greater than 3? Well, this is actually false. 1 is less than 3, so it's not going to run this bit of code. So go ahead, build and run this, and as you can see, it did not print out Bucky is awesome on the screen. How sad. So of course we have the greater than test. We obviously have the less than test. 1 less than 3? Well, now this is going to be true, so it's going to print out Bucky is awesome on the screen. So let's go ahead and run this, and indeed it prints out Bucky is awesome. So aside from greater than and less than, we also have these two tests, greater than or equals to. So whenever we tested whether 3 is greater than 3, this test is going to be false because 3 is not greater than 3, 3 is actually equal to 3. Well if we want to test if 3 is greater than or equal to 3, we use greater than with the equal sign after it. So now whenever we run it, is 3 greater than or equal to 3? Yes, 3 is equal to 3. So it printed out Bucky is awesome. So aside from that, we also have the less than or equal to. So if, you know, is 1 less than or equal to 3? Yes, 1 is less than 3. So it's going to print out Bucky is awesome. So again, what I want to show you guys is that you have greater than, less than, greater than or equals to and less than or equals to. So now those are called the relational operators. We also have two more tests that we can do and these are called the equality operators. This is a really simple test. It tests whether one value is equal to another value or if one value is not equal to another value. So in order to do this go ahead and write is 3 equal to equal to 3. And you might be thinking, all right, why don't I just use one equal sign? Why didn't they make it that way? Well, whenever we were creating variables, such as like int x equals 8, the one equal sign, the single equal sign, is a sign for creating variables and assigning values. So that's why they said that two equal signs was sufficient for testing. So remember, um, a common mistake is to put one equal sign in there and you're going to get an error or something terrible is going to happen. So whenever you're testing, you need two equal signs. So let's go ahead and run this test. Is 3 equal to 3? Well, yes it is. So it's going to print out Bucky is awesome. Um, give it another test like is 7 equal to 3? Well, no it's not. So it's not going to print out Bucky is awesome. So that is one test. It's called the equal sign, equal sign, or equal to test. and there's one more test I want to go over and that's explanation point equal sign and this is the keyword for not equals to so is 8 not equal to or in other words is 8 different than 8 well no it's the same so it's not going to print out everything is 10 different than 8 well yes it is so that's going to be true and it's going to print out Bucky is awesome so that is all the tests that I have for you guys and that's all the tests in C++ again 
to recap one last time. Greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, equal and not equal. So now that we know all those tests, um, I probably should tell you guys this. People typically don't, and by people I mean computer programmers, computer programmers typically don't just test two numbers against each other. They usually have variables that they test against each other, like int A equals 98, int B equals 76, and then they test something like, is A um, greater than B? Well, if we go ahead and run this, 98 is indeed greater than 76, so of course that's true, it's going to print out Bucky is awesome. And aside from that, um, you either have two variables to test or you have a variable and a value, like is 98 greater than 5, something like that. We can actually mix variables with values and that would be true as well. So again, you can either have two values in here, two variables, or a variable on one side and value on another side. Pretty cool, huh? So that's the basics of, um, again, relational operators are the greater than and less than one, and equality operators are the equals equals and explanation point equals. So now that we know how to make a basic if statement, again to recap one last time, if your test and then the body, and it's going to run the test, and if that code is true, it's going to run the body. That's the basics of an if statement. Now that we understand that, we can begin enhancing our programs a little bit more. So in our next tutorial, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be having the user enter two numbers and we are gonna be comparing those numbers and depending on what numbers they entered, run a certain bit of code. So now, as you can see, we're just building and building to our knowledge of C++ to make better and better programs. So don't skip over if statements because it's a huge part of C++. So for now, that's all I have for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. In the next tutorial, we're going to be building that calculator thingy. So it's going to be awesome. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my website.